Hello. Hello everyone. Welcome to Vedic Maths Forum India social media page. Today we will be uh, speaking on the new Vedic Education Board that will be soon implemented by the central government. We will be getting to know about it by Mr. Gaurav Tekriwal, who is the president of Vedic Maths Forum India. Let us welcome him on board. Hello, sir. Hello, Shantani. How are you? I'm good. How are you, sir? Doing great, doing great. Please tell me. Yes, so uh, like everyone else, we are very excited to know about the new uh, Vedic Maths Education Board that is going to be soon implemented. And we are very curious to know about it. So there are certain questions that we would like to ask you and know the answers from. Sure, absolutely. Go shoot them right ahead. Okay. So the first question is, what are the thoughts uh, on the new Vedic Education Board? Well, I came to know about uh, the Vedic, uh, the new Vedic Education Board only last evening where I was just browsing through social media and this just comes up. An article just comes up which says that the central government is to set up the board for promotion of Vedic education. And the best part is that Vedic maths, which I advocate and propagate uh, globally, is going to be a big, big part of it. So that it helps students to uh, you know get better at maths, reduce math phobia, make math fun, make math interesting. So if you have a, a centralized Vedic education board, I think it will go a long, long way in establishing Vedic maths uh, in a very robust way globally and in the country itself for sure. By which I mean that today there are so many teachers, there's so many people and students who want to learn Vedic maths, right? But uh, they, they don't have a central resource there where they can go and get themselves good standardized resource materials and also good uh, certification. So with the Vedic Education Board, all these problems will be taken care of uh, by the central government. So I really, really welcome the new initiative of the Vedic Education Board and uh, would like to personally thank uh, the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji for bringing about these reforms. So uh, over to you. That is a very uh, good initiative and I'm sure that it will help students across India and not only India, but others as well outside the country as well. Okay. So, uh, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, I just wanted to add uh, also that just like we saw yoga and Ayurveda, there was a complete ministry created by uh, the government, right? So you right. had Ayurveda, you had yoga, you had all the other alternative medicines. Uh, so similarly, if the government creates this Vedic, Vedic Education Board, you know, uh, the entire knowledge systems of our ancient seers will be well preserved. So I think it's an amazing initiative by the government. It's basically a win-win situation where we not only, you know, help us and everyone, all the students especially, learn Vedic maths, but it also uplifts uh, the historical future, uh, like, sorry, the history of India and mathematics. Okay, coming to the second question is how can Vedic maths be used to bring about a change in the society? Well, that's a very deep question which you have asked me, uh, Shantani, because uh, Vedic maths is the foundations of mathematics. You can really calculate fast and it's a simple and easy method. So these methods are basically the foundation of not only mathematics, but also other subjects, right? And through math, like engineering, it, you can apply these sutras to engineering concepts as well. So slowly, slowly, as it, as India progresses, you know, you will be able to make Vedic maths part of the curriculum. You'll be able to calculate faster, which will lead to India producing more people who are technologically advanced. And that's how it helps in nation building. Think about it. Uh, years ago, we did not have calculator and we are all willing to progress uh, using the calculation method given to us. So, so, so as society progresses, they are able to create more managers, more leaders, more engineering people. And the foundation of all of that is mathematics. So that is how it's, it's connected. So if 
everybody gets to learn Vedic maths. You know, the entire level of mathematics goes a notch higher. So that's how we can, you know, bring about a change. Okay. So, uh, how can the Vedic Education Board help students and teachers, in your opinion? Right. So the Vedic Education Board will firstly help students because it will help them get better standardized resources by which I mean students will get access to say books, videos, resources and they will also be getting good quality training on the fundamentals of Vedic mathematics. So through the standardized curriculum which they will be given and also they will be uh, given a certificate so that the affiliation is done with the Vedic Education Board and that certificate will really take them a notch higher because then as teachers then they will also be able to teach Vedic Mass to others. So each one can teach one also. So I think in my opinion if the Vedic Education Board is set up it will help students, teachers and the entire society progress in a big big way. So, uh, speaking of students, there is a question coming from Dr. Siddharth Sabisachi, who is asking why we can't implement Vedic maths in elementary school. Well, uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Siddharth Sabisachi, for asking me this question that why we can't implement it in elementary school. Well, uh, you see, to understand the real magic and the real beauty of Vedic maths, you need to have your fundamentals in place. For example, you need to know what addition is. You need to know what multiplication is. So once you these four concepts, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division is covered, if you know the basics of it, you can easily do Vedic maths. So that is one of the lacuna. I, I don't think that's a lacuna, but I think uh, that is one of the points that you can reduce Vedic math when children are, are in, say, grade 4, grade 5 onwards. <coughs> So, how can Vedic Maths help students build a career? Uh, Vedic Maths really helps students in a big, big way to build a career because uh, it firstly makes them self-reliant. Really how? So, uh, you know, most of these concepts of mathematics were invented in India. And India has a very strong base and fundamentals of mathematics. You had Harry Bhatta and others, which I have mentioned earlier in my interviews, that you know the foundations of maths is in India's blood. So if we can produce uh, more maths teachers, then they can go ahead and train others in Vedic maths as well. So as a student, also you can train teachers. So that is how it goes in Vedic maths. So students can build a brighter career. They can teach others. They can do research in Vedic Maths. They can do a PhD in Vedic Maths. They can go ahead and through research and technology, they can really build a brighter career. Not only uh, that is one of the applications. The other application is competitive examinations. So when students need to um, go for competitive examinations, you need to calculate fast. And that is also where Vedic Maths helps, you know. So uh, I think that is one of the also a biggest big uh, contribution of Vedic Maths to a student's career. That's how it helps. Okay, so Vedic Maths indeed does spread, spread its aura and magic in different fields of careers by, as you said in your answer. Okay, one last question, which is how can Vedic Maths help to make India the maths capital of the world? Oh, that's my dream. That's a vision which I have to make India the mass capital of the world. Like I was just saying, so uh, through through math, which is in every Indian's blood, you know, you can everybody can help each other become math maths geniuses, you know, or the computers through Vedic maths. Uh, once people start teaching each other, they get experience, and they can also teach students outside the boundaries of our country. You see, we never thought that we would be teaching students only limited to say five kilometers, 10 kilometers. So you can actually use the resources of the Vedas 
globally to teach everybody. We are one world, one family. So if we can have teachers train students via the internet, why can't we make India the math capital of the world? There are over 200 plus countries and Vedic math can really help students get the examination blues over. They no longer have to face maths phobia. Vedic maths makes maths interesting. It makes maths fun. It makes maths super cool. So I think through Vedic maths, uh, we can actually make India the maths capital of the world. So glad to hear that. Like, I really hope that one day India does like emerge as the maths capital of the world. And I am sure it will. It was lovely speaking with you, sir. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, thank you for answering all the questions. It was lovely chatting with you. Thank you, Anthony. It was a pleasure. And uh, I look forward to the government and I offer my full credit support to the government to establish the new Vedic Education Board. Thank you for asking these questions. It's very, very pertinent and very important. And let's take Vedic path forward. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.